Next product we're putting on the 300 series is a Scout roof rack. Now this is a prototype, so we're gonna test fit here, make sure it all fits good and works well. Now this VX here has a sunroof, so we're gonna try and clear that as well. This is our long version. We're considering doing a short version that goes behind the sunroof as well for a lot of people who you know, like to look up and see nothing. However, with ours, the rails are removable, so you can take the rails out and still look up and look nice. All aluminum, so full aluminum, super strong rack, full length. It's gonna allow your 300 series to carry lots of gear when you go on off-road, overlanding, or just around town for work. So we're gonna take off the factory Toyota rails and put this bad boy on. Let's see what it looks like. putting some Sikaflex on up here, which is gonna keep our mounting pads sealed so you don't get any water in your roof. Nice and neat, eh, Chris? Yeah. Yep. And now we're putting the mount on. This is what the roof rack will bolt to. Now that the, someone's phone's going off while we're filming, they owe us a slab. And now we're gonna put the roof rack on. Because I'm a short ass, Ben and Chris, who are tall, are gonna do it. Usually putting a blanket on the roof helps protect the roof. And you're probably gonna get your 300 series to do that as soon as you touch the handle, which is quite annoying. All right, let's do up the brackets and see what it looks like and remove the blanket. Once you have the rack in place, you can do up the bolts. And the ones on the side here too. And get a good view. We'll get Chris out of the road in a sec and we'll show you what it all looks like. Now you spent good money in your roof rack. Don't forget your logo plate. If you do, I will haunt your dreams. So we just peel off the backing and you get two, one for each side. We put it on straight. So I said it, now I better do it. Voila. There you have it. Prototype roof rack went on perfectly. Fits like a glove. It's a, a great roof rack, and I'm gonna go through some of the features on it. Now, one really cool thing about our Scout roof rack is we use our own extrusion on it, and our own extrusion takes a standard M8 bolt or an M8 nut. So if you ever need to add an attachment to it, you don't have to go to any proprietary hardware. You can just go to Bunnings or any bolt shop and get a standard M8 bolt or an M8 nut. You can even buy uh, the tow anchors, you know, the hooks, or the um, eyes, an M8 eye bolt, straight in with a standard M8 nut, straight on there. Perfect for putting any accessories you want on there because they're flat. Now the sides we have flat as well, great for mounting awnings or uh, ax mounts, shovel mounts, anything you want to add on, great. There's spots that you can put your hooks in. Doesn't look like Swiss cheese like some other roof racks. It's a nice clean look on the vehicle. It's low profile, lightweight, and best of all, which we're gonna test this one yet, but just about all our racks are dead quiet. So you're gonna love this rack for all those extra cool features and benefits that kill the rest, and it's lightweight and strong. So this is it, the Offered Animal Scout roof rack. I hope you like it. Next, 
Hopefully the suspension comes soon so we can put the wheels and tires on. Um, and the flares, we got our flares in from Pinnacle 4x4 and have color coded them. So we're gonna put the suspension and tires on and um, rock sliders. The next prototype to go on is the rock slider. So we'll be test fitting those hopefully in the next couple weeks. So stay tuned. Here's a quick fist going on. Great for mounting accessories off to the side. Now that we have that flat surface on the side, it's perfect for mounting stuff like this. So on this quick fist, you can put your long handle shovel, or in this case, we're gonna put an ax on. Let me find the... Optional extra on the roof rack is to have a separate wind deflector that takes a light bar. Now we've got an offer at Animal 42 inch light bar on that wind deflector there. The single row light bar is great, keeps it below the roof line on the roof rack so you can still put long gear overhanging front of the roof rack and not worry about damaging the light. You still can put a double row there if you want, but I think the single row is a perfect addition if you do want that. Uh, we're going to run the standard wind deflector up there because we don't need the extra light with what we have on the bull bar, but for those of you who want a 42 inch light on the roof rack, you have that option with this roof rack here and it's quite easy to change over just a few bolts on the side on the top change it out so it is an optional extra standard is with standard wind deflector all right next update the 300 series rock sliders these are the prototype ones uh, passenger side done here we're still doing the other side I'll give you a closer look at how it works great step as well as a rock slider you can see it's got tread on top which is great for non-slip surface this steel step here is great for actually stepping up on accessing the roof rack or even just getting in and out of the car, but super tough that will protect the car when you're going off-road. Two serious mounts mount off the chassis, so frame mounted for extra support and a backbone along here, which gives it great, great strength. If you got a super expensive 300 series, you're gonna wanna protect it if you're going off-road and rock sliders is the best way to do it. And why not pick a super cool rock slider like these ones here? and they fit great, they look nice. Let me go show you the other side. Now, as you can see, these are the mounts going on. They are separate to each other. So the reason they're separate to each other makes them really easy to install. You put one on, then you put the next one on. So you're only lifting up one item that's about this big. It doesn't weigh too much. When you are doing other kind of rock sliders from competitors, it's all welded in one and lifting it up is difficult. Uh, you might have to use jacks and multiple people and it's still not easy. These are super easy to install all by yourself, lifting each one on. You might need an extra person just to lift the actual heavy backbone and step on itself, but still possible to do by yourself. Easy install, great for protecting the rig. And look, if you need to go off road, one of the first things you should get is a rock slider because it is such a you know, prone area for damage. Um, I'm really happy now with the way this 300's coming along. Now we got the roof rack, we got the rock sliders. We'll be looking at the rear bar soon, and I just got word that our suspension, most of it shipped, not everything. So as soon as that arrives, next installment, we're gonna have the suspension, the wheels and the tires, the flares going on. So it's gonna really start you know, looking the pot and hopefully we can take it off road soon. Then we'll look at stuff for the back, maybe help it out with touring and whatnot. But at the moment, we're on the way, almost there. 